Hello everyone, I'm Monica. With the development of cloud computing, big data has become more and more important. And if you want to build an intelligent service adaptive network based on big data analysis, then the real-time, high-speed and targeted acquisition of network operation data is crucial. Today, I'd like to introduce a new network monitoring technology, telemetry. So what is telemetry? How is it implemented? And what are the advantages of telemetry? Simply speaking, telemetry is a network monitoring technology used to quickly and remotely collect data from physical or virtual devices. Unlike traditional network monitoring methods such as SNMP and CLI, telemetry enables devices to use the push mode to proactively send their data to the collector implementing real-time, high-speed, and precise network monitoring. First, let's have a look at the structure of the telemetry model. To implement network monitoring, the telemetry model consists of two parts, network devices and EMS or NMS. For network devices, telemetry involves the original data, data model, encoding format, and transfer protocol. For the EMS or NMS, telemetry involves the collection system, storage system, and application analysis system. On the network device side, telemetry organizes data based on the YAN model, encodes data in the Google Protocol Buffer GPB format, and transmits data through the Google Remote Procedure Core GRPC protocol. This improves data collection efficiency and facilitates intelligent interconnection. On the EMS or NMS side, telemetry collects, stores, and analyzes data and also helps determine how to adjust the network configurations based on the analysis results. Next, let's see what the advantages of telemetry are when compared with traditional network monitoring methods. First, traditional network monitoring methods such as SNMP and CLI use the pull mode that combines EMS or NMS query and device reply to collect data. Each query corresponds to a reply. The device needs to process a large number of repetitive query packets. In comparison, telemetry uses the push mode that combines EMS or NMS customization and device pushing to collect data. Each customization corresponds to multiple replies, reducing pressure on the device caused by having to process large numbers of query packets. Second, traditional network monitoring methods obtain data in pull mode. If network freezing occurs, data cannot be obtained in a timely manner, resulting in data distortion. In comparison, telemetry periodically pushes data to the EMS or NMS, preventing data distortion caused by delay on the network. Third, if you use a traditional network monitoring method to collect the data of N devices, you need to perform queries for N times. If collecting M types of data is required, N multiplied by M is the number of times operations must be performed. However, if you use the telemetry technology, device data can be reported in real time, provided that data subscription is configured in advance. No manual intervention is required during the process. To summarize, telemetry works in push mode to proactively push data with sub-second level precision. Of particular interest, telemetry uses the standard data structure and coding format, facilitating the interconnection with third-party devices and improving network monitoring efficiency and quality. Although the push mode also applies to SNMP traps and syslogs, the range of data that can be pushed is limited. Monitoring data such as interface traffic data cannot be collected or sent. So let's take a mobile barrier network as an example and have a look at telemetry applications in a traffic optimization scenario. An intelligent ONM system consists of the collector, analyzer, and controller. 
If a traffic forwarding path needs to be optimized, use telemetry to collect device data and send the data to the analyzer for comprehensive analysis and decision making. The analyzer sends the decision result to the collector and the collector then adjusts device configurations to optimize the traffic forwarding path. So the detailed telemetry deployment procedure is as follows. First, configure the telemetry function. After each device proactively establish a gRPC channel with the intelligent O&M system, configure subscription tasks on the devices. After that, each device reports subscribed data to the collector through the gRPC channel. Then the collector receives, stores, and processes data reported by the device. And the analyzer analyzes data based on the big data analysis system. Finally, the controller delivers an optimization instruction to optimize the network. So the entire process is quick and convenient. Users are unaware of the path change, greatly improving user experience. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.